electrolysis the clean way or as near as can be to that. Let's call this electrolysis revisited. And that five gallon bucket has been sitting right there on the corner of this porch right here since the last video. Uh, what, about a year ago or more that we set that tank right there up. And what I did in order to start at ground zero is I unplugged this battery charger and let it sit there for three or four days right there and in the past with with the liquid that's in there and this tank as you see it I have literally de-rusted hundreds of parts both small and to the size that I could barely get it in there with this introduction let's uh, let, let, let's set us up another tank right here let's get in there and cut us a couple of graphite slabs to use as electrodes the material that we're going to be working with is graphite and this piece here is about a foot long it was about three inch by three inch when I got it and you can see I've slabbed it off there this will be the dirtiest part of the metal cleaning is sawing this graphite saws quite easily different grades of gra graphite be keep that in mind and I, I did, I bought this here on eBay a long time ago. I've had this for a while right here. It was really, really cheap. Uh, it's not expensive. With that, with that, let's uh, saw us off a couple pieces. We, we're going to saw it about one quarter of an inch thick. Two inches by one quarter by a foot long. Now, when, when, I, when I saw this, uh, if, if, if I needed to, and I do, at some point in time, I'm going to saw a, a couple of little bitty strips there, maybe a half inch by a quarter this long to clean the inside of cylinders with. This is just too much surface area. I'll show you. Another question that's going to arise is what well, how many teeth on that on that blade? How many how many teeth on that saw blade? And the speed of the of the blade, I know someone's gonna to need to know about that. And uh, I, I forgot how many I I don't know how many how many teeth on that. There it's kinda of coarse. It, it I didn't change or nothing, that's just the metal cutting blade. And the speed, uh, I don't have a clue on the speed. And you can see just a little rocking, just a uh, better, better, better view, just a little rocking, a little rocking motion right there. Not, not too fast, just kind of a steady, pressure well, it don't take long to cut a slab of graphite okay we got one you see it pretty pretty well square on that end also on that end a little fat in the middle right there that won't hurt nothing that'll work really really good right there for one side. Now I'm going to cut another to go on the other side. And that's ample enough in a five gallon tank. 
uh, just um, you can put four of these in there but you know it's just a little too much for the size of the tank let's cut another one just finished up that last piece right there and what I've done is I made a long that's uh, some about a, that's about a half inch by half inch by half inch about a foot long and, and I'm going to use this to go down inside a cylinder sleeve to clean the inside of a cylinder sleeve that's plenty enough now I could use this but what I ended up with there Let's see, where they go at? Should be a match here somewhere. Okay, right there is where it came from. And what I ended up with was them two pieces. That piece, that piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And, and they're all just random thicknesses, but somewhere like a quarter inch and maybe three eighths. Even this 3H right here now could be sawed in the middle right here. I'll probably do that because that's just it's surface area. The, the 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 this electrode here is it's it's line of sight. Remember that line of sight. If you if you were cleaning that saw blade down in that tank and you had this this graphite plate over here cleaning the saw blade, it wouldn't clean the edge right here. It would only clean this side. Wouldn't clean the back. Only that. And also on your electrode, it tends to erode away the electrode in the area where the part is you're cleaning is at meaning that if you were cleaning a lot of pieces of metal that looked like that this electrode over a amount of time would wire away right in the center if it was a full length and just a little observation but we got her we, we got her we got her plates graphite Okay, now if there's anything dirty about this about this process, it's sawing graphite. And it's not too bad. Just take a clean cloth. You know, we're good to go. Now if you if you are the miser type, the fugal type, the whatever you want to label it, you can save this graphite dust right here that makes a very good dry lubricant very good I mean you buy it up there at the store in a little bitty can about that big some kind of dry lock lubricant and all it is is graphite dust save it if you need it we got our plates let's go back to that tank now Now that we got these graphite plates cut right here, let's put them in the tank. And probably as we go, let's just unhook everything and start this. That's the one that was in there. You remember it's, uh, it's, uh, there must be a shadow here somewhere. But you can see this, this, this one right here actually started life as this one that's how much has eroded away right here and and you can take notice that most of the parts that I clean are in the top part right here and that's where it wears away the most I'll save these break them in two and then I'll use them in a short tank And if you notice, right around here is some white residue, and I, I'm thinking that's nothing more than than soap suds, the 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 remnant of the soap sud. Now, now th those two plates was put in there at the same time, and you can see this one here is only worn away about as half as much as the other one. 
And the reason being for that is somewhere along the ways, the connector from this plate to that plate probably, probably, probably corrosion. And, and I don't, I don't, it's, I'll show you what I did. It's just a, it's a soap residue, but it's enough to work that, that, it, that we, it will, it won't make electrical contact, if y'all can see what I'm doing. And, and this don't necessarily have to make electrical contact. But I'm not going, I'm not going to dump this out. Like I say, that's been in there a long time. And, 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 and it's perfectly good to use. There's nothing wrong with that. Perfectly good. No, nothing in this here except washing soda and some maybe some heavy metals or and and I have had my hand to the bottom of this and 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 there's a oh I'm gonna say there's an inch or so of residue. But on this one right here, I'll show you. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this plate right over there. You can see what I did right there. And this plate right here, we'll put on this side. Put put the, put that thing right there, down in there. The plate has to be in the liquid. The, the part of the plate that's out of the liquid don't do anything. I will fill this on up with uh, with water. Uh, only because the the washing soda is only to contaminate this water. Once it gets contaminated, then you don't have to use that. But uh, we got that we got them two in there. And like I say, it's surface area. This this is ample enough surface area for this size tank. Now I could I could put electrode over here. And I could put electrode over here if I was cleaning a round object. Now in this tank right here, I have cleaned cylinder sleeves in here. And the size of this tank and the closeness of it, this works okay. Because of the weight, the shape of that roundness, it actually will clean it all because it's so small. Four electrodes would be better. And actually, if you were going to use four, then you would saw these two in half and use a smaller one here, smaller there, and smaller there. But it's a line of sight, remember. And this one does not go to that one. It goes to the part being cleaned. So this one only goes to the part. Wherever that part's at in there is where this cleans goes to, line of sight. Keep that in mind. Knock that, knock that, that corrosion off yonder. And then this one, only, only thing this, this war here does, it's a jumper war. It goes from this one to this one. That's all that does is connect them two together. If you had two more in there, you would just go from here to here to here as long as they connect together. The positive, very important. The positive goes to this one, this one right here, or this one. The positive goes to the sacrificial anode. This is the ground right here. Keep that, keep that where we can get to it. Now let's get us some parts.